Hey everyone, Phil's Greninja here, and today I'm going to show you how to clean filthy Game Boy games. Um, I just got three, or actually four, um, three of them are Game Boy Advance games, and one, the last one is a Game Boy Color game. So first up I got Dixer's Laboratory, Disaster Strikes, um, and look at that. <laughs> it's like sticker residue all over it. The cartridge pins... I don't know if you can see it. That's a little bit dirty inside. Give that a clean. There's uh, a Game Boy Advance video pack, SpongeBob SquarePants Volume 3. There's a sticker on it. It's pre-owned. It's like, cannot really peel it off. Maybe you can, but I'll give that a clean. I've also got SpongeBob SquarePants Volume 1. Uh, it's pretty bad. It's like a little bit dented a bit but um yeah and there's like dirt all over the place and there's a little bit of dirt inside of here mission impossible this one worked perfectly it worked on the first try there's like a little bump over here if you can see right over the l and the e i mean the game doesn't look too bad but i'll still give it a clean anyway um just um i'm gonna see if these works i'm um I got Dexter's Laboratory, Disaster Strikes. So, this game works. Yep. Turns on. Yep, there we go. Yep, there's a bunch of de save datas on here. There's Dexter on here. Oh, yeah, so that one works. Here's the Nick uh, SpongeBob SquarePants volume. I guess it was. Yep, it's one. Let's see if that works. All right, this one works. When I first tried it, it didn't work from on me. Yeah. Sorry if it takes a little bit. I'm trying to skip through all this. Alright, so that works. Alright. So that one works. I've got uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Volume 3. So that one works as well. And I've also got the Mission Impossible game. This one works perfectly. I have love Mission Impossible. I'm excited for Fallout. Really excited for Fallout. I can't wait to see that one. I love the Mission Impossible series. I love the music. Alright. So, all those games work. Um, I'll first unscrew these games with my screwdrivers. And then... I'll wash this up, and I'll see how it goes. First, I'm going to unscrew the games. These are, like, really dirty. So here's the pins. I can give it a clean. I'll try the eraser trick and see if that works. I'll probably clean the inside and everything. I'm gonna, definitely going to clean that off. This one's okay. I'm just going to get that part off. I'll just move that to the side. We've got Dexter's Lab. Used to watch Dexter a, a lot. I even watched uh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Um, so that one's okay. I can see like a little bit of dirt in there. I'll move that there. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna clean inside of here. Definitely that as well. Like the. Spongebob pack that I just showed you. I've got the other Spongebob pack. Wow, that's like screwed in tight. I bet the manufacturers like screw in stuff tight. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. It's like a little bit of dust in there, but 
I can get that. There's a little hair inside, and wow, I just noticed that there's like dirt all over it. I'm gonna have to clean that. There's a bit of that over there. Yep, I can clean the cartridge pins. And last, Mission Impossible. Wow, these are screwed in tight. I don't know if this is either the manufacturers or the people that sold this. But the cartridge is okay. We'll just give the pins a good cleaning and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I got an eraser over here. I'm gonna clean the pins and see if the trick works. Oh, they're shiny. Now they're all shiny. So I believe this one was Dexter's Lab. I think. Yep, there's a little bit of... I don't know if that's soda or anything, but... I'll have to clean that off. Won't come off, so... Yeah, look how... Yep, I think that was the dirt, or maybe the eraser. I'll just wipe that off, and I'll move on to the next one. This one's Mission Impossible. Sometimes if you, like, put an eraser on these, even if you have, like, old games that are probably s sitting somewhere collecting dust, then you should probably try the eraser trick. It always works sometimes, or you can just clean it with alcohol. Um, so, this one worked. That one worked. I got, um, I believe this one's the, uh, one of the Game Boy Advance video packs. Yep, and the pins are all shiny now. Look at that. I'll wipe that off. And the last one. Alright, there we go. So now on to the, um, I'm just going to clean these. They're pretty disgusting. I'll be doing a different video on that because um, uh, I'm running out of storage. So, um, yep, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe I helped you, maybe I haven't. Um, and maybe I made your games work again. And, uh, yep, thanks for watching, everybody. Peace, bye.